Aslam Osama bin Laden's declaration or petition continued. 7. An internal war is a great mistake, no matter what reasons are there for it. The presence of the occupier, the USA forces, will control the outcome of the battle for the benefit of the international kufr. And he, and he writes, I address now my brothers of the security and military forces and the national guards, may Allah preserve you, hoard, preserve you, hoard for Islam and Muslim, Muslims people. So he's addressing, kind of note, he's addressing everybody as a prince or a leader or a caliph as they say. O oh, you protectors of unity and guardians of faith. O oh, you descendant of the ancestors whom carried the light of guidance and spread it all over the world. O oh, you grandsons of Sayyid ibn Abi Waqqas. And he continues. But the regime had reversed these principles and their understanding, humiliating the Ummah and disobeying Allah. Half a century ago, the rulers promised the Ummah to regain the first Qibla. I think I've read this before. The, crusade, the Crusaders were permitted to be in the land of the two holy places. Not surprisingly, though, the king himself wore the cross on his chest. The country was widely opened. Right, as Appendix 1A, it is out of date and no longer acceptable to claim that the presence of the crusaders is necessity and only a temporary measure to protect the land of the two holy places especially when the civil and military infrastructures of iraq were savagely destroyed showing the depth of the zionist crusaders hatred to the muslims and their children and the rejection of the idea of replacing the crusader forces by an islamic force composed of sons of the country and other muslim people moreover the foundations of the claim and the claim itself were demolished and wiped out by the sequence of speeches given by the leaders of the Kufr in America. The latest of these speeches was the, own, was the one given by William Perry, the Defense Secretary, after the explosion in al khobar saying that the presence of the American soldiers there is to protect the interest of the United States of America. The imprisoned Sheikh Safar al-Hawali May Allah hasten his release, wrote a book of 70 pages. In it, he presented evidence and proved that the presence of the Americans in the Arab Peninsula is a pre-planned mil pre military occupation. The regime wanted to deceive the Muslim people in the same manner when the Palestine fighters, Mujahideen, were deceived, causing the loss of Al-Aqsa Mosque. During 1304 AH 1936 Christian era, the awakened Muslim nation of Palestine started their great struggle, jihad against the British occupying forces. Britain was important to stop the Mujahideen and their jihad, and their devil inspired that there is no way to stop the armed struggle in Palestine unless through their agent King Abdul Aziz, who managed to deceive the Mujahideen. King Abdul Aziz carried out his duty to his British masters. He sent his two sons to meet the Mujahideen leaders and to inform them the King Abdul Aziz would guarantee the promises made by the British government in leaving the area and responding positively to the demands of the Mujahideen if the latter stopped their jihad. And so King Abdul Aziz caused the loss of the first Qibla of the Muslim Muslims people. The king joined the crusaders against the Muslims and instead of supporting the Mujahideen in the cause of Allah to liberate the Al-Aqsa Mosque, he disappointed and humiliated them. Today his son King Fahd, trying to deceive the Muslims for the second time so as to lose what is left of the sanctities, when the Islamic world resented the arrival of the crusader forces to the land of the two holy places, the king told lies to the Ummah, who issued fatwas about the arrival of the Americans and the gathering of the Islamic leaders at the conference of Ribita, which was held in the holy city of Mecca. The king said that the issue is simple, the American and the alliance forces will leave the area in a few months. Today it is seven years since their arrival, and the regime is not able to move them out of the country. The regime made no confession about its inability and carried on lying to the people, claiming that the American will leave but never, never again. 
a believer will not be bitten twice from the same hole or snake. Happy is the one whom takes note of the sad experience of others. Instead of motivating the army, the guards and the security men to oppose the occupiers, the regime used them, used these men to protect the invaders. The further deepening and humiliation and betrayal, we bemoan this and can only say no power and power acquiring except through Allah. To those little group of men within the army, police and security forces, whom have been tricked and pressurized by the regime to attack Muslims and spill their blood, we would like to remind them of the narration, I promise war against those who take my friends as the enemy, narrated by al-Bukhari, and is saying, Allah's blessings and salutation be upon him, saying of, in the day of judgment a man comes holding another, and complaining being slain, by him. Allah blessed be his names asks why did you sl I've not read this anywhere in the Quran so I'm not going to read it any further. And Today are your brothers and sons, the sons of the two holy places, have started their jihad in the cause of Allah to expel the occupying enemy out of the country of the two holy places and there is no doubt you would like to carry out this mission too. In order to re-establish the greatness of this Ummah and to liberate its occupied sanctities, nevertheless it must be obvious to you that due to the imbalance of power between armed forces and the enemy forces, a suitable means of fighting it must be adopted, i.e. using fast-moving light forces that work under complete secrecy, in other words, to initiate a guerrilla warfare, where the sons of the nation and not the military forces take part in it. And as you know, it is wise in the present circumstances for the armed military forces not to be engaged in a conven conventional fighting with their forces of crusader enemy. The exceptions are, whole, are bold and forceful operations carried out by members of the armed forces individually, that is, without movement of the formal forces in its conventional shape and hence the response will not be directed strongly against the army. Unless a big advantage is likely to be achieved, a great loss induced on the enemy side that will shaken and destroy its foundations and infrastructures that will help to expel the enemy defeated out of the country. The Mujahideen, your brothers and sons, requesting that you support them in every possible way by supplying them with necessary information, materials and arms. Security men are specially asked to cover up for the Mujahideen and to assist them as, such, as much as possible against the occupying, en occupying enemy and to spread rumours, fear and discouragement among the members of the enemy forces. Kind note, so the royal family of Saudi Arabia, they asked the Americans to come onto their land. So onto Saudi Arabia, holy place. And seeing an opportunity there, these group of people, including the late Osama bin Laden, wanted to create some kind of disagreement, some kind of war. So they destroyed the Twin Towers. <laughs>